my wonderful little ones i'm glad to come to you with my videos as you already know we're going to be home for a little bit because there's a virus out there and a few people are sick and you know how we learned about not sharing our germs so we do not want to share our germs so we're just all staying at home and um waiting for a while when everything gets much better we'll come back together at school and we'll meet again and we'll have fun and do all the things we love to do in the meantime i'm going to bring you some video lessons that you can watch from home um, you get to pause and resume as needed in addition to that i'm going to send out a schedule that will um, supplement the schedule that your parents already have for your home study um, in this schedule we're going to have whole group whole class discussion times we're going to have small group discussion sessions and we're going to have one-on-one -on -one times when i get to call you and work with you or your parents call me and you and i work one-on-one -on -one with our reading our math our social studies science and all that good stuff so enjoy your time while at home remember to listen to your parents and do all the things that you need to do stay safe um, contact me at any time send audio text picture text let me know what your questions are, what your concerns are, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So the first video I'll be sending out to you will be a review of our numbers, okay, our numbers and our counting. And then we will also review our letter sounds. After that, we will continue from there. We review some of the lessons that we've had so far, and then we'll start new lessons. Okay, so that being said, you can pause this for a minute and all... Um, continue from here. We're going to look at uh, numbers, okay, and numbers and counting. So you already know, let's go over this. This number is a number one. It's represented by a single dot on the 10 frame, and we write one as O N E, one, and we represent one, the number one, with just a finger, right? Or any other thing. This is one. All right. Two is represented on this chart with two dots on the 10th frame and we write two as T W O two. You can represent two that way, two that way, two that way. This and that make two magnets, right? All right, three is represented by three dots. We write three as T H R E E three and we can represent three like that. Three like that, three like that. You know all the different ways we represent three, right? All right, so then we go to four, represented by four dots on the 10 frame. We write four as F-O-U-R, four. And that's four, that's four, that's four, <laughs> that's four. So we have different ways we can represent four. I can have two, Marcus and two magnets that makes four items in all, right? All right, we have five represented by five dots on the 10 frame. We write five as F I V E five, that's the number five, and we have different ways to represent five, right? All right, so we have six represented by six dots on the 10 frame. Six is S I X six. And this is how we could represent six. We have seven represented by seven dots. S E V E N seven. Eight represented by eight dots. E I G H T eight. Nine represented by nine dots. N I N E nine. Five and four more makes nine. And then ten. T E N ten. Hey, give me ten. All right, so you can pause this video and then we'll go over um, a review of how to write these numbers. And then that will be the end of our math for today. And then I'll also post our reading and letter sound review after this. All right, stay blessed. 